my name is Travis Wingoodsell, and uh, anticipating this to be my last video, I uh, had uh, written down some notes for this occasion. Uh, so, yeah, I, I have a fan in the background, it's not the camera. <coughs> The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, that I was born in the covenant, had betrayed me. Because I was born in the covenant, I learned all about Joseph Smith. And I learned that he's the founder, and he's the one that started this church, and we go on missions talking about how awesome Joseph is. And uh, Christians are upset as we treat Joseph as if he's the, the Christ. And Christians catch on. Mormons don't. We're not Christian. So yes, Christians know we're not Christian. <clears throat> but because of Joseph Smith and his translations, I wanted to know how to translate. That was the thing that caught my attention after uh, finding dragons in the Bible. <laughs> and, uh, and so because I became a translator, it's a field of science, it's not a field of opinion. There are rules behind our languages. We can't just make up words, which tends to be the case in our society nowadays. <clears throat> Where there are no rules anymore, we can just say whatever we want. We don't have to follow the rules of language. <clears throat> but because I did this, because I found that Joseph Smith is a legitimate translator of Hebrew and Egyptian. Do you hear me? Mormons and ex-Mormons. Hebraists and Egyptologists are wrong. Very wrong. Dear God, how wrong. It's like they're trying to cover things up that they're so wrong. For example, in Hebrew, it's the acronym theory. Oh my God. There's this thing called self-fulfilling prophecies. Sir Alan Gardner is the one who gave the self-fulfilling prophecy and then William Foxwell Albright took it and ran with it and created the nonsense everybody believes on earth today. <sighs> Science is a completely different process than the psycho babble that is being perpetuated in all aspects of our lives. And then for Egyptian, Facsimile number one, Egyptologists don't translate it. Joseph did. Why not Egyptologists? Because they don't have the signs in the sign list. Oh no, it's not in the sign list. I don't know it needs to be translated. They've all got their PhDs and they all need to be taken away. And so because I'm a translator, science-based, my church has betrayed me because they see me as Korahor. I'm the enemy now because Joseph Smith is a translator? Oh my God. That shocked me. But 
do ex-Mormons come to my aid, in my defense? Hell no. And so, as a translator, I know the scriptures. I know their apocalyptic literature, like the book of Revelation. They are not literal history. The Book of Mormon is not literal history. Mormons and ex-Mormons duke it out over true or false as literal history. None of you considered that it might be apocalyptic literature too? Gerald and Sandra Tanner, great at collecting historical documents, but turn Christian. And so they impose their Christian beliefs upon the Joseph Smith documents to say that Joseph Smith is not a Christian. No duh. Just leave us the original documents. Don't try to bias our beliefs with your Christianity. Which, again, the apocalyptic literature of the first vision tells us we're not Christian. Jesus is not our Christ. It's the language of the Egyptians. I screwed it up. <laughs> the learning of the Jews. Isaiah, Emmanuel, the language of the Egyptians. Amen. The sun got it. Noonday of the Egyptians. But it's not some supernatural deity, like the Christian Jesus. It's the name of a man. Completely different religion. And is the origin of Christianity and all other current religions on the face of this earth. But when you get deceived by your religion, from your birth, you tend to go off the deep end. And so, as a born and raised Mormon who has become a translator, I know all about the latter days. I know, and because I know, the church has ordered and paid for me to be locked up for six years of my life. I didn't go to trial. We're talking Helaman chapter 6, verses 22 to 24. Yeah, great and abominable church stuff. I wasn't supposed to get out, but I did. But my parents, likewise, sold me out, like Judas utterly betrayed by my own family. See, I know. I was born in the covenant, remember? But I learned as a child that to be mean to people as I was taught to be as a Mormon was wrong. I didn't want to hurt people. And so I became a rebel, the black sheep of my own family. But my family, thinking they were the holier than thou, than me, yeah, they destroyed my life way back in 2008. They all betrayed me. But they think they're the good guys. I'm the quarrel horror, so I deserve what I get. So in 2014, I got out, and little did I know, at the time, it was the pre-show for the latter days. The 2014-2015 Tetrad, yeah, that was the forerunner for the latter days. 
and it took until the third one on the morning of Saturday General Conference 2015 for me to finally catch on. I just gotten out, didn't have access to to know how to use Google search back then. I had this computer was I had forty dollars to my name and somebody was selling it for forty dollars. <clears throat> now it no longer works because of Windows 10. It's obsolete now. Uh, I'm hoping it'll still play Civilization 3 complete, but I'm never going to play it, I guess. <clears throat> it was when, uh, right before the election, November 4th, 2016, Fox 13 News Utah's little segment saying, hey, even though we've got an election coming up, we're going to tell you all these months in advance of a total solar eclipse over the United States of America. I dropped my jaw. Remember, I'm a translator. I know all about the latter days. Notice I'm not calling it the second coming. <laughs> the latter days. And so my one and only video that dwarfs all other videos on all my channels, Travis Wayne Goodsell, now returned to Independence, Missouri. Over 39,000 views. And it's even incomplete. Found out 19 July 1840 from the Joseph Smith Papers. <sighs> That's not the right place. <clears throat> and so, looking back, I've been telling you the whole time from all prophecies of all scriptures including the Book of Mormon, about the fulfillments, the 2016 election, the death of President Monson, COVID. I know, YouTube and other social media platforms, people get all sensitive and were wrongfully banning videos. Yeah, what do you think creeping death was for the exodus? They don't ban Metallica's song, do they? Thank God. The 2020 election, and then World War III by Russia, specifically, and paid for, and paid for nukes by the great and abominable church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Who Joseph Smith himself called out the leader of in 19 July 1840 and knew in that very same talk that there would be election fraud that would bring the Constitution to the brink of ruin. Joseph knew There was election fraud in the Mormon War, wasn't there? Huh. Senator Mike Lee, huh? And so because of this, doing videos for you guys to warn you, to let you know, to educate you, scientifically educate you, not place you into a tribal category of false dichotomy. The church knew and put a stop to me. They can't have me getting tens of thousands of videos, let alone more that should have happened, 
had you two been treating me equally? So if you're coming to this video as the first video of mine, yeah, it's because of the church. They didn't want you to see this. And Mormons, with their covenant path loyalty, obey and commit crimes to protect the church. And so the church took away my money. They were hoping to force a, an eviction for non-payment of rent. That failed. This is rent controlled. And so they did what the pattern of practice is to lie, to make up false accusations that I'm the bad evil guy when I'm the victim and they're the bad evil guys. And so they got court sanctioned murder to wash their hands. Oh, we didn't do it, it was the courts. We're innocent. You're the bad guy, Travis. Yeah, this is exactly what the Danites, led by Brigham Young, did to Joseph Smith. They kept locking him up. Joseph kept getting out. And so they had to murder him. Willard Richards and John Taylor of Brigham's Twelve. Again, I refer you to 19 July 1840. I'm not moving out. I don't have money. I'm getting kicked to the curb rather than locked up like I did they did to me in 2018. Now I'm getting kicked to the curb and again lose everything that I've been trying to build up all these years, having been freed by a fluke. Wasn't supposed to get out, but I found that the church had paid, not just ordered, for my lockup. And I sued the church. Had to do it a couple of times. The church is well protected. They've got Mormons everywhere to get away with murder, to get away with crime. Helaman, chapter 6, 22 to 24. The church is a crime organization, a terrorist, seditious murderous, criminal crime organization. And that's not hyperbole. I've been doing many videos exposing their crimes. Like I said, they paid with tithing for World War III. And I can't get Mormons to wake up and realize, as I did as a child, that being mean and murderous is not a good thing. And I can't get ex-Mormons for the same reason. Because I don't choose a tribe. I use science. And so both Mormons and ex-Mormons treat me as Korahor. I've exposed the use of psychology, not just on the whole world, but within the church. 
they're the cause of the dichotomous tribes of Mormon versus ex-Mormon. Psychology is a fake science, pseudo-science in technical terms. They don't use science. They manipulate your emotions. They alter words. They use fallacy to deceive. And everybody has fallen for it. They are being used to cause the problems in all the world. And so, it was my neighbor who, right before Sunday school, during the Doctrine and Covenants year, uh, in 2017, we were getting to the lesson on Joseph Smith being assassinated in Carthage Jail. And he asked me if I knew that Joseph Smith had a gun. And I go, yeah, it was my third great grandfather's gun. And he goes, oh, uh, did you know he had two? <laughs> uh, no. And so using science, I researched church history. I didn't read people's books and pick and choose who I wanted to believe. That's not science. Too many ex-Mormons fall for this trap, as Mormons do. Oh, it's not faith-promoting by a prophet of the church, so it's not true. <laughs> Ex-Mormons, oh, well, she wrote it. Why would she lie? As a kidnapped hostage, forced into sex trafficking, why would she lie like a terrorist being held caught captive and forced to read a statement of confession in order to save his life to get ransom money? People just don't think. Joseph Smith was framed, guys. Who controlled the narrative? Brigham. Who is the successor of Joseph Smith? No! Nobody! Everybody started their own religion. Nobody followed the true process for succession. Brigham Young had the majority of Danites on his side. He had the muscle. He had the terror the fear. He took what he wanted. And he lied to everybody about it. This church is not the same church as Joseph's. And I can't get anybody to listen. Because Joseph Smith is wrong whether you're Mormon or ex-Mormon. But Mormons say, no, Travis, you're wrong about Joseph. Joseph really did talk to the dead, use magic as a gift and power of God. Then it's a literal history. Science, guys. Science. So, I do know there's a deity. When, uh, well, I, I, everybody asks me. Ex-Mormons, Christians, even Mormons. They ask me, what's my religion then? Most of the time it's, you know, am I a Mormon or am I an ex-Mormon? 
as if I have to choose between the false dichotomies that are both wrong. <clears throat> I'm a scientist, remember? Even though I know through science that Egyptian is the source of all religions, and that they've devolved drastically from the origin. The question of the existence of God has been elusive to mankind. And Christians love to quote uh, <coughs> what's his name with the, the it's not a disease uh, for the hair. I <coughs> can't remember his name, but regardless. <coughs> he claimed that, well, you just have to see the heavens and know that there is a God. And Christians go, yeah, woo, the church is true. <laughs> no, no. He's wrong. You have to use science. And so I've noticed a pattern, and it was last year when I finally found it. I think it was last year, or was it at the beginning of this year? I can't remember now. It's been so long. <clears throat> the presidents of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints die during a lunar eclipse, plus or minus a month. Remember the latter days? I'm an expert on it. Using science. And so, there are signs in the heavens, there are scripture prophecies, and there are events on earth types and shadows. Lunar eclipse is for religion. Solar eclipse is for government. We just had a solar eclipse yesterday. It was a, uh, a black moon. Second in a month. And then we've got a super moon for the lunar eclipse on the 16th. And remember, this is a tetrad just like in 2014-2015. We're in the latter days. We're waiting for the fall of the great and abominable church. And so knowing that lunar eclipses correspond with deaths of church leaders, and I'd already known this back in 2007. Elder James E. Faust died with a lunar eclipse. And then it was followed by President Gordon B. Hinckley with a lunar eclipse. And after checking, which was, you know, around the same time when I figured this out, I then decided, hey, let's go back and check that one. Yeah, they were reverse patterns. It was totally cool with the signs in the heavens referring to it. <clears throat> I know the prophets don't know any of this. There's no way they could have self-fulfilled it like they can with all the other prophecies that has been self-fulfilled. The enemy knows about a lot of this stuff. That's why the war by Russia, Ezekiel 38, Gog and Magog. The world knows all this. There's some basic stuff that everybody knows and is expecting. And they're purposely making it happen to destroy Christianity. Because Jesus is not real. He was created by Constantine. And so using science, I am recognizing patterns with deaths of only presidents and 
apostles of this church. Wilfred Woodruff, self-proclaimed president. The church ceased to exist during his time. Came out with official declaration number one because the United States forced him to because he's not the president. And verse 11 says that God will remove a false prophet. Yeah. Yeah, he's right about that. The sign in the heavens for it is lunar eclipses. And so I did that chart for you. Lunar eclipses all the way down to Monson. And we're in the Tetrad to wind down the latter days. The Tetrad? Harry Packer Scott? Yeah! Oh, lunar eclipses! What do you know? And we're in the latter day Tetrad. The final Tetrad to end it all. And apparently I'm not going to be around to watch it. I even checked Bruce R. McConkie did that video not too long ago. Even him. And he got a solar eclipse too with his. <laughs> so yes, there is a deity. You can't self-fulfill that. They did not know until I started doing videos about it. And as you can tell, they're desperately trying to save their lives to make sure that they don't die by the hand of God. And so all the people of the world, if they knew that information, would know the church is the great and abominable church. Both ex-Mormons and Mormons. Mormons should wake up and go, you know what, maybe I'm the bad guy. I think I'd better leave. And the majority of Mormons have left. Don't go to church, don't participate anymore. They haven't withdrawn their names from the records as the church continues to use those membership records to commit crimes, tax fraud, for example. Had a CPA comment, or a claimed CPA comment, the IRS allows the church members to count tithing as deductions. Yeah, that's the whole point. Tithing is a protection racket. That's how Al Capone, you know, the thumbnail picture guy on the comment, or the video that you commented on, got in trouble. You know, people think that they're so clever by presenting themselves as a fake title of a fake career. Oh wait, there's a woman who just got busted for that. She claimed to have a PhD and she got busted. Oh, that was in the news yesterday even. What do you know, Mormons have a pattern of practice that's spread all around. Notice I never claimed to have a PhD. I'm a translator using science. I went over with you how I'm a translator and those with the PhDs are frauds. And so, on the third, I will no longer be allowed to upload videos. By the end of May, things continue as is, I have to leave. I'm kicked to the curb. Their bloodthirst fulfilled. I saw a letter yesterday as I was digging through 
dresser with papers shoved in it, trying to go through and throw stuff away. It was the letter given to me by my son's mission president, informing me that he was told to keep silent, but that my son had gone home early because he mentally couldn't handle it. My family even turned my own kids against me. This is how evil Mormons are bred in the church. And as an ex-Mormon, you likewise have that killer desire within you. Unless you became a black sheep like me. The Lafferty's that are in the, under the banner of heaven. Ryan David Mitchell, Ted Bundy, Chad Daybell, Lori Vallow, many, many Mormons show the true nature and character of the church, the great and abominable church. Mormons, of all people, I would hope, we are looking at the entire destruction of the human race. When it will happen, that's not up to God. He only takes out the prophets during lunar eclipses. But pushing the nuclear trigger, that's Putin's decision. Though apparently, according to a new Russian news source that's appearing in American feeds, there's two of them I've noticed this morning. They're sneaking in. <coughs> Are claiming that Putin has cancer and is going to pass the baton to someone else, which I think we already know. Uh, the real news was already telling us that he was meeting with a specific general uh, who uh, was assigned to continue the war in Ukraine. And it's very likely he'll be that guy. But... Uh, all they need to do is push the trigger. And the signs in the heavens were perfect for yesterday, or today actually. The signs in heaven were yesterday. But today is their anniversary with the church. That Illuminati group that everybody wants to pick their opinion as to what to believe about them rather than using science. If it happens today, yeah, but uh, I've been warning you, you all missed the exodus. And so now the destruction is coming when Jerusalem will be destroyed, and then you'll go on to survivors creating Zarahemla. Yeah, it's apocalyptic literature, guys, not literal history. So, for those of you who know, brethren, the do.